Wow, today is 22nd September. I know you'll say, so what? It is just like the other days, but it is not. Today is equinox. Do you want to know about this cosmic phenomena? Let me ask my friend son to tell you about it. Equinox is derived from two Latin words, equus which means equal and nox which means night. It is the day in the year when daytime and nighttime are nearly of equal lengths, which is 12 hours each. This situation occurs twice a year, usually on March 20th and September 22nd, when I am exactly above the Earth's equator, an imaginary line around the middle of a planet or other celestial body. This causes the terminator or twilight zone, a moving line that divides the daylight side and the dark night side of a planetary body to pass through the Earth's north and south poles. This unique angle causes all the areas of the Earth or other planets to experience almost the same amount of daylight and darkness twice every year. There are two types of equinox that occur. In the northern hemisphere, March equinox is called the vernal equinox or spring equinox while in September, it is called the autumnal equinox or fall equinox. In the southern hemisphere, the names are the opposite because the seasons are switched. Equinoxes are historical markers of seasonal change. The March equinox unofficially marks the spring season and is traditionally perceived as a rebirth and renewal time. Many cultures have celebrated March equinox as the first day of the new year. Comparatively, the September equinox marks fewer events generally associated with autumnal harvest festivals. Chuseok, the huge Korean folk festival, is a celebration of family and Korea's rich agricultural heritage. There is a man-made legend attached to this equinox as well. As it is said, the ancient Mayan architects have honored the equinoxes in the design of the enormous stone pyramid nicknamed El Castillo in Mexico. Every equinox, my light creates shadows down the steps of the pyramid, making it look like a slithering serpent. The equinox is just not limited to the Earth. Every planet in our solar system experiences it. Thank you, sir, for sharing such beautiful and remarkable facts about the day. So let's wish everyone a very happy first day of fall.